Hey everyone, Anthony here from Mashup Math, and I want to share some information with you about why time math tests are so damaging to students and how we can shift our focus away from memorization and computation and towards understanding. Learning math is not a race, a case for removing time tests from math education. Inspired by the research of Stanford professor and math education expert Joe Bowler. Math anxiety has now been recorded in students as young as five years old, and time tests are a major cause of this debilitating and often lifelong condition. Time tests evoke such strong emotions that students often come to believe that being fast with math facts is the essence of the subject. This misguided emphasis on speed and memorization has resulted in high numbers of students dropping out of mathematics. Brain research shows us that, under the stress of time pressure, working memory can become blocked, leaving students unable to retrieve what they already know. The blocking of the working memory, and the anxiety that comes with it, is particularly common amongst higher achieving students and girls. When schools make learning math an anxiety provoking experience, we turn students away. The best way for students to learn math facts is through engaging in activities that focus on understanding number relationships. This authentic understanding is best achieved through taking the time to think deeply about number strategies. Yet, many people believe that mathematics is only about calculating, and that the best mathematics thinkers are those who can calculate the fastest. In truth, skilled mathematicians are often slow with math because they take the time to think carefully and deeply about mathematics. We need our students to become powerful thinkers who can make connections, think logically, and solve complex problems. To achieve this goal, we must shift the focus of math education away from rapid calculation and towards deep mathematical thinking and understanding. This movement in education reform is gaining momentum and your input helps. Please join the conversation and share your thoughts in the comments below. You can learn more about the supporting research and the work of Joe Bowler at ucubed.org. All right, so that's it for that lesson. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We don't want you to miss out. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. We respond to every single comment. I promise you will respond, even the mean ones. Okay, but let's just try to keep it nice. Those ones are always a lot more fun to read. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.